Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might... Hello and welcome. We have to be honest, it's not a very pleasant night for football. The rain has been coming down heavily in advance of this game. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UA. And he's made headway! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Well, in this 4-4-2, they're going to play with a centre-forward who likes to exploit the space in behind defenders. And one who likes to drop deeper to get on the ball. It's a good combination. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. That's the clearance that was needed. Said he could be onto something. Giving it a try. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. They'll take it short. Lopez and plenty have been having their say on social media about Joao Cancela returning to his boyhood club a big moment for him and you have to say what a warm reception the fans have given him well he always talks about his development as a young player here and the fans appreciate that he's certainly left on good terms that's why he's getting this warm reception defensive looking fast And here he is, Lionel Messi, and a goal, it's a two-goal cushion in the tie, and now we can say they're firmly in control of this. Well, let's just take another look at this. Messi drifts past his opponent with such ease, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Rodri. And now Rodrigo. Nunes. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Nuno Mench. With Rodri, he has teammates around him. Genuine chance, and oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1-1 here. Bella Kocha, Frederik Aursnes, Cabral. Very good interception. Rodrigo. And the advantage is with City. Holland. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, as it stands, they're on their way out. But a goal here would change everything. Elects to go short. It's a perfect challenge. Messi. Could be dangerous. Artur Cabral. And he takes on the shot. And defending as a unit. Minch. Foden, very alert defending to put a stop to the chance.
Ahmed Benakocha. Jurasek. There to take it away. Ahmed Benakocha. Excellent vision. Mateus Nunes. It's a promising city move. Holland could be. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Who can they pick out? Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Bella Kocha. The referee allowing the play to flow. Feeding it through. And he's found a bit of daylight. There's still danger here. And it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. They can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Lunas. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Rodri. Here's Grealish. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? the short one and he stopped them in their tracks Rodrigo and defensive play to be applauded they might be able to get in now Foden crossing opportunity can he do it? and it goes! and that changes things just a bit well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Well, you can see the frustration in his face. His team have just switched off here. Bella Kocha. David Jurasek. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Sloppy, Cabajal. Holland. It is advantage Manchester City here. Grealish. City move it forward with purpose. A City free kick forthcoming. Now the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Great composure to send the keeper the 
long way and strike it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. And the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. And far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, I think that picture tells you everything. He's not in agreement with the referee on that one. Frederik Aursnes. Excellent defending. Minch. Phil Foden now. 20 minutes to go. Nuno Minch. Foden. Options in the centre. Timely intervention. Lionel Messi. And Sissi with the ball again. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. And he's won the ball. And teammates around him. Foden. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. So the current scoreline, 4-2. David Jurasek. Frederik Aursnes. Good-looking move, this. And he's in. The top drawer, Superstop. Well, that's eye catching wide play. Is it going to be? Excellent block. Well, time running out for the goal here, and surely we'd be looking at extra time. the top of his head a look. Jack Grealish. And the advantage is with City. Oh, he's given the ball away. Phil Foden. It is advantage Manchester City here. Electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Blessing. And then able to keep possession. Shuameni. Oh, no good vision. The keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, can they put this tie beyond down here? What a big moment this is. to take it short here Shuameni and the referee's verdict is penalty kick well he's avoided a booking but the complaints continue and I can understand and the keeper denies them from the spot no more time left the referee says that will do it and it's Manchester City who go marching on well, it was all very tight, but over the two legs, they just had that bit more creativity and made the better chances. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Well, it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too.
clearly the difference maker today.